experience with others. Because many people with cerebral palsy and other disabilities just don't get out and they just don't participate in a lot of activities simply because they feel like they're not included. That's kind of the general consensus. So we're trying to, we're trying to shatter that, that belief and trying to encourage people to just get out. And I don't know if, if this is your first experience getting involved in the disability community, but for most people that don't, typically, probably most of the people, when they see someone with a disability, they just don't know what to think, mainly because they just don't understand. And the unknown makes us a little fearful. Sometimes we feel like we don't want to ask any questions, we just kind of stare and kind of try to figure things out, and we're limited to what's already programmed and what we know. So now that, now that you've already got a little taste of, the, of this community, for some of you it's not the first time, for some of you, you live this, but if you see someone just kind of staring, you know, just be open to them and just explain things. You know, when, when I see people stare at Michael and I can tell they have, they just don't know. They just have these big questions in their face. And I just say, well, if you're wondering, you know, Michael, Michael has a brain injury. He, you know, he was born premature, two months premature. It was an abruptio, the placenta tore away from the uterus. And as a result, his movement, the area in the brain, the midbrain, which operates motor function, causes his movements to be a little not normal or dysfunctional. So some of the, some of the side effects of that cause slurred speech because your tongue and your mouth, the muscles in there, cause your muscles to not work like everyone else's. Eye movement, hand movement. So when you, when you educate someone like that, now they know. And what happens is, is now they tell this to others. Oh, I just met someone in a wheelchair and the father just told me exactly what his son has or what the disability is. And now they have a better understanding because you just don't see commercials educating the general population about these types of injuries. So Michael and I created a, a foundation called Special Compass. And Special Compass helps motivate events like this, and we participate in events everywhere throughout the country. It could be a half marathon, it could be an Ironman triathlon, it doesn't matter what it is. And what we do is we try to get others to just sign up, register, and we do it as a group, just like we did today, as a group. So if you want to learn more about us, it's specialcompass.org. It's a nonprofit, 501c3, and expect to see some cool things coming, because uh, we got, we got some nice things, and we love uh, the, the organization United Cerebral Palsy. Pat has been great. And give it up to the whole staff here for, for creating this, this great event today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Michael. Oh, one more thing.